Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Broad Lane Leisure, who've kindly allowed me to come and film a review of this. It's the Ariba Touring 420 GT from the German manufacturer Heimer. This is a two berth caravan and today we're going to have a look around and see what we're going to get for our money. The first question is, as always, how much is it? So this two berth caravan is going to set you back £24,350. Quite a price tag, but as we know, prices have gone up. So what are we going to get for our money? Well, I really do actually like the Ariba range. They're quirky, they're different, they do stand out, they're really well made, and they're just so different inside. So let's have a look. First of all, let's go through some facts and figures. What do we need to know about the little Ariba? Well, as we can see on the 420 GT, which is a pack with extras, we're going to get the beautiful silver exterior, which I absolutely love. The length of this caravan, now this will appeal to a lot of people. It's 17 feet and four inches, and in width it's six feet and seven inches. So it's small and it's compact. Weight-wise, again, a great benefit. If you've got a smaller tow car, you're going to be able to tow this. The MIRO of this caravan is 880 kilos, and it's actually got an MTPLM of 1300 kilos. What does that mean? It's going to give you a whopping payload of 420 kilos, which is absolutely massive. But the 1300 is your magic number. So MTPLM, 1300 kilos. So most cars should be able to tow this little Ariba. Let's start outside now we've done the facts and figures. It is on an Alco chassis. We've got an Alco hitch. We've then got this really nice aluminium um, A-frame that I do like. We come to the front, as I say, it's only six foot seven wide, so it's small and compact, but we have got our gas locker here at the front. And then we've got the two little windows that pop open, as we can see here. We've also got the grab handles. Now, because the Ariba is so small and lightweight, obviously, if, if you don't fill it up to 1300 kilos, this is only going to be weighing in at 880. So you might not even need a motor mover on this caravan. You will just be able to pull it round with these handles. Let's look upwards. Now, something you may notice up there, which you don't see on many caravans, certainly not on the UK manufacturers, it's a pop top. Now, obviously, when you're towing the caravan, you bring that down so the Ariba's small and compact and aerodynamic. Then when you arrive on site, we pop that up and that's giving us loads of extra headroom in there, which we'll see when we go in. It's certainly around six foot four headroom in there. So we'll see that when we go in. We'll carry on down the off side of the caravan. So obviously the door is open. Uh, we've got a nice handle here, as we can see. If I just pull that across, we can see again, it is still silver. It's a one piece door uh, and we do have a catch here to here. So when you are on site, you can pin that door back and get some air in. Now, one thing I really like on this off side is obviously the door here because it is a European caravan. It's made specifically for the European market. We have the door on the wrong side. I like that. As you know, I like the European stuff. The door's a good size, but what I will say is I'm only small and we'll see when I go in about the headroom. If you're quite tall, you just need to be a little bit careful. One thing we've got great to see is obviously the fly screen, which is important, especially in the summer. You don't want the bugs and creatures getting in. There's a pull out step again, a feature that I like, and it's certainly very sturdy. So we've got a nice step there. We come down decals, very, very minimal. Although this is the GT, well, there is uh, the touring sticker and there is a GT one as well. So very minimal. We've got our Dometic vents here. So that's telling us that this is where we're going to find our Dometic fridge freezer, which we'll see inside. And we've also got a rail here. You might wonder what that's for. Inside the table, you can actually take that from the inside and bring it and situate it here outside. So you've got a nice little place to sit out and have your lunch or breakfast, whatever you want to do. We've got some alloy wheels on the GT model. I do like the alloys. And then we come down, we've got an exterior LED light here. We've got a window at the back, which is looking into the lounge, which becomes the bedroom as well, but I'll show you that inside. We've got a locker here. 
and then we'll make our way round to the back. Unfortunately, because of where uh, the Ariba is today, I can't get round the near side to show you what's there, unfortunately. But round that near side is where we're going to find our water point and we're going to find our electric hookup. So we're at the back. Now here we've got a little bit more in terms of the decals. As I mentioned before, this GT badge, we've got the GT 420, the Touring and the Ariba up there and another nice window. And one thing I do like, again, when we go inside, we've got some nice nets for privacy too. We've also got this great grab handle as well, again, for manoeuvring the caravan if you're not using your motor mover. So externally, it is absolutely beautiful. It's not, it's a bit of a marmite, I will say that, but personally, I love it. So we've got the lovely silver, we've got this, this nice bumper here. We've got the lights, which are a little bit different. They're sort of a bit retro-y. So there we go, that's the exterior of the Touring 420. So what we'll do now is we'll dive inside and take a look in there. So let's venture this way. So I venture in, and as I say, you've got to be a little bit careful just there if you're a little bit taller, but we come in uh, and this is the, the beautiful interior of the Ariba. I really like it. So let's go through it. So as we come in, the pop top's currently up. I'm five foot four and you can see the amount of headroom that I've got. It's absolutely plenty. And this really does give much more of a feeling of space because this is a really small and compact two berth caravan. I'll just talk about the pop top first of all. Obviously, uh, it pops up. I don't think I need to explain that too much more. We do have the handles to assist in that. And then this is just, if you're wondering, it is just like a canvas um, a side panel and that goes all the way around. The roof, that's obviously solid because that, that's part of the structure. These little bits, now these are quite nice. They've just got straightforward zips all the way around. Um, so you can zip those up, you don't have to have those open, but if it is a warm day, it's nice to open that. And then you've got the mesh here, which is going to let in um, air and light. I'll just zip that up now while we work our way around the caravan though. So coming back up this end now. So as I've come in the door, we've got a switch on the side here for the awning lights uh, just there. So that's nice and easy when you're in and out. On this opposite side, now the Ariba's actually got an onboard water tank. It's a 30 litre tank. So as well as having your aqua, aqua roll outside and your water pump, you can fill your tank with 30 litres. That could be useful if you were going to a site that doesn't have water because you, because of the huge payload on the van, you can always put some water in that before you set off. So you've got 30 litres of fresh water plus your aqua roll. So plenty of water in here. And you've got a little, um, gauge here which is going to tell you how much you've got and some light switches as well. Now the kitchen area, as we step in, obviously this is the front of the caravan, this is the off side, this is the off side, that's the near side. So here's the kitchen. Now one thing I've noticed is there's a lot of worktop space, however a lot of it disappears off around that corner there, so it's not maybe going to be that easy to get to I must say, but plenty of worktop space nonetheless. If you are tall, this is quite low down as well. So it's an okay height for myself, but if you were tall, it is a little bit low. If I open this up now, we've got the Dometic gas two burners here. There's, close that again. There's no uh, microwave, there's no oven. You are just relying on the gas burners. That's not unusual for a European caravan, I must say, but it might be something a little bit different um, as a UK buyer. We've also got the sink. So it comes with the board that you can remove. We've got a nice sink and swivel tap and obviously hot and cold water. On board, we do have a Truma hot water tank. And we also have Truma air blown heating, but I'll come to that in a bit. So we've got a good size sink there. I'll just bob that back in. There we go. Storage wise, so we've got a small storage cupboard up here, so a little bit of space to put things in there. And then coming down, we've got these nice push button uh, drawers and cupboards. So in here, we've got a cutlery tray, so plenty of room in there. If you like tea towels, you can hang them on there. I'm not too fussed about tea towels, to be honest. And then under here, 
this is really good now there's plenty of storage under here and again it goes all the way back so you might lose bits under there i'd be inclined to get a couple of like little boxes or something just so i didn't lose my, my bits and pieces around that corner but excellent storage and then again on this side as we can see more storage here and a shelf unit as well so that's excellent so good amounts of storage there in terms of your lighting we've got a strip light here and there is just a little light under there so there we go that's the kitchen area as i say a little bit limited in terms of uh, the cooking uh, but we've got the gas now as we move back if you're like me and you like your cups of tea uh, fear not you may be wondering where's the plug well there's a plug socket here just on this uh, side of the cupboard here and then we've got more worktop space here so this is a nice little space so on here you could put a kettle or toaster and coffee machine what have you fridge freezer under here we've got there we go we've got the Dometic fridge freezer I'd imagine that's probably about 83 litres off the top of my head um, it does run on electric if you're on electric hookup and it also runs on gas it's got a small freezer compartment um, just there you might get a couple of ice creams in it but not much else but uh, a little freezer compartment but a good size uh, fridge nonetheless and we've got the the side the door there as well so Dometic fridge freezer so we've got that covered I'll work my way down here now so storage in the Ariba what what I'd say is we've got a lot of these little um, overhead lockers which I'll open up these actually run all the way around so there's plenty of them but you haven't got much depth so what you'd really be putting in here I'm not so sure to be honest what I would use these for I mean obviously bits and pieces you've got a huge payload nonetheless so you'll be able to take lots of stuff if you like to do that the quality though these are absolutely solid wood so these are really really well put together um, big strong hinges as well so I must say I do like the quality feel of the Ariba which is pretty standard on a lot of these German manufacturers as we come along um, we've got lighting wise we've got some little lights under here which you can see on this side and it's also on the near side and then there's the strip lights as well as we go back so what I'm going to do now is we're now going to spin around and I'm going to venture into the lounge area and we'll take a look back there so this is the lounge area which is at the back of the caravan as we can see these are the nets I referred to I, I'm not a big fan of curtains as you know but I must say these little nets do give some nice privacy and just soften up the Ariba a bit so yeah they're a bit of a winner for me to be honest and you do get the elastic to keep them in place as well for when you're towing so that's nice this back window here does open up so got the windows at either side so that'll let some nice air in as well on warm days and also plenty of daylight so we've got these two bench seats as we can see now this is a two berth and these are going to convert into one great big bed now we've got a table here and this this is a really good sized table it just connects um, onto a, a rail here and then we've got the leg here this table you can take outside and attach to the outside of the caravan when I mentioned about the rail out there so that's what you can do with this this will also then come away for when you're converting this into the bed now on an evening these are really long so they're going to be great for relaxing if you want to get your feet up to convert this into a bed it's not the normal style that we'd have on some of the other manufacturers where you pull a slat out what you do with this is it's a little bit different I'm not going to do it fully but I'm just going to explain it because obviously you might want to know what you do do so if I can manage it you may notice down here we've got these little bits that pull out so if you pull that out these become on either side two of the the struts here and then this as you can see you might be able to hear it's solid underneath there's a pole which is just under my legs here the pole attaches I don't know if you can see just there there's a, a gap you attach the pole across from there to there you've got these struts and then you pull this out and with the backrest as well so the backrest again is also solid and it's got these little like studs 
so that is how you're going to make your bed not a great demonstration i know but i'm not doing that in the showroom right now but that is basically what you're going to do you're going to pull those out put the bar across and this is going to be one great big huge bed if you wanted to use them as singles you could that that wouldn't be a problem um they're not they're not massively wide though so if you're a larger person or you like to move about I personally wouldn't be rushing to sleep like that I, I would be converting it and obviously if you're wondering where to put your, your bedding for on an evening uh, sorry during the day when you're not using it you can just store it under the seats and that's also where that fresh water tank is that I spoke about so that's the bed they're a great length the wet, you know if you're over, if you're over six foot you won't have a problem sleeping in here so that's how this area converts right i'm going to move on back into the caravan now and just talk about the truma heating so without tripping myself up on this bit i'll just put that back as i say we've got truma air blown in the uh, ariba the control for that is just on the side here and we also find down here we've got the truma fire so this is nice as well if you just need that little bit of extra heat um, these work really well to be fair so we've got plenty to keep us warm in the winter so you can go all year round storage again now if you're wondering where your wardrobe is it's here so we'll open this up not bad amount of storage really for clothing there is a rail here so you can hang things if you want and there's a little shelf as well that's about it really for clothing because you, you're going to struggle to get it in here but you do have your storage under these two um, sofas so that's nice last but not least we do have a bathroom so what we'll do next is we'll venture into the bathroom which is just here at the front near side corner of the caravan so the small bathroom is at the front near side I've opened the door got a nice solid wooden door somewhere to hang towels which that's quite nice so I do like that and then we can look into the washroom so first of all as you can see it is fairly compact which I'm not being funny but the caravan's only just over 17 feet long so we've always got to have a compromise and and this is probably where it is to be absolutely honest we do have plenty of lighting in here though the the darker wood can make this smaller space seem a little bit darker but the pop top we've got some light coming in here we do have a window and it is glazed which is nice so we've got privacy we do have some blinds on a fly screen and blinds there as well so first of all we found we've got a, a small sink um, the only thing I'll say with the sink is because we've also got a little bit of um, protrusion with the shelf here you may struggle just to get your face totally in there for washing or shaving there is a mirror though and there is some nice space here on the side for putting bits and pieces and toiletries underneath there's a nice storage cupboard down here so I'll just come down here so we've got good storage though for all your toiletries just in there there is a plug hole in the floor for drainage we've got a bit more storage there and we've we've got the elastic as well to hold bits when you're, you're towing so you can leave them there in situ also in here on the other side we've then got another little storage cupboard and then we've got a Thetford bench seat toilet so that's not a swivel it is fixed but it is the bench seat toilet and there is even a toilet roll holder which you don't always get even on some of the fancier vans so yeah we've got a toilet roll holder so all together I mean if I just step in it'll give you an idea that this is a small space hence this is where you're going to be compromising really um, but at least at least you've got it so there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive out now and we'll just have a quick summary of the Ariba 420 Touring GT so there we have it that is the Ariba Touring 420 GT 24,350 pounds for a two berth caravan as you can see it certainly is a bit different and the benefit of this is not only does it look totally different but it's going to give you a huge payload and you can tow it with a smaller car so you're not as limited i must say i really like it if you can live with some of the quirks this could be the one for you what i do just quickly want to show you before we head off is an alternative now if you are considering a small two berth but maybe 
you can't quite reach to that or you want something a little bit small and compact. They also have the Ariba Touring Fami Familia 320. And that's this caravan here. So I just very quickly want to show you this. Inside, it's almost identical to the 420 that we've just seen, but it is smaller. In terms of the uh, internal length, it's only 12 feet internal length. Weight wise, this has got an MTPLM of 1,050 kilos. So it's a lot less than that 1,300 there. So if you've got an even smaller tow car, then this might be the one for you. And it's priced at just under 23,000 pounds. We're not getting those silver sides that we're getting on the GT and we're not getting the alloy wheel, but it's small and it's compact and it's giving us what we're getting there. So there we go. That is just something a little bit different, uh, still in the Ariba range. If you want something even smaller, a little bit cheaper and to get you out there on the roads caravanning. So there we go. Hopefully you've enjoyed that today. I'd just like to say thank you to Broad Lane who've kindly allowed us to come and film. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.